cha boom boom ba cha boom cha boom boom ba cha Now listen up all you big cat lovers with the snacks in your face and your peats under the covers It's time to hear a story so sit your butt down because Derek's gonna walk you all around the compound Ba cha ba Yeah Look at that That's pretty cool Isn't it? See all like the snow and like kind of in line with the shadow Everything else is melted melted Melty, melty. Something's making the tap, tap, tap sound. Oh, it's that little drip, drip, drip right over there. It's kind of uh, like the sound I would ima I would imagine. I was about to say it's a, it's just like the sound, but it's if. If the little elves that helped uh, cobble shoes in the middle of the night, that's probably the sounds that they would make. Little tap, 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 tap. We're cobbling. And meanwhile, there's the one elf who joined it was like, I didn't realize this was about shoes. I thought we were going to make uh, baked uh, fruit dishes. I joined the wrong club. The wrong cobbler club. Well, well, well. Will, will, will. Uh, yeah, everything is melting. And... I walked outside and I was like, ooh, melty, melty, smelty. And then I'm like, what is that? Smelt, smelt seem, because it's like, it's the process in which me metallurgists. Hi, Ken. Hi, Sass. Hi, Sass. It's the process in which, uh, it's the, hold on, Cassie. I'm trying to explain the definition of smelting. Don't you care? Don't you care? But the uh, the process in which metal is extracted from ore by uh, you know like melt by by more complicated forms of melting, and they're like, oh my gosh. We're using the act of melting to make this whole thing to get metal. What should we call it? How about smelting? Like, that's not very original. We could call it exmacting. <sighs> fine. Smelting. Smelting is fine. There's a tiger doing cute stuff. I didn't know if you were interested in such things. But in case you are interested in such things, here you go. I think that's Khan. I think. I think. Word origins are fun. Cassie makes up new words all the time. Don't you? You have to, this is, we've done this for years. We've done this literally for years. This is your cue. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what happened. I kind of lost my voice again a little bit, which is crazy because I didn't, I've done, I did all sorts of stuff to kind of get my voice back. And uh, I did not do uh I, I i you know read a bunch of different things and watched a bunch of different videos about how to best preserve your voice and all that fun stuff hi hi come here baby come here hey sugar pie ruby what are you doing what are you doing but it just uh yeah it just kind of went uh, like the mid-range uh, that's okay 
We'll get her back. But yeah, I wasn't do. I didn't do. I, like, well, what did you do? Did you yell? Did you sing really loud? Did you do any certain? No, I didn't do any of that stuff. Look at this. Okay, I can't get in. <laughs> and then there's dirt on the other side. Bunch of beans. Ice. Dirt. I think it may have more to do with the fact that I got a little, uh, maybe a little bit more kind of physically run down um, in recent in recent weeks, in recent time. Hi, Kel. Hey, Kelly Belly. So it's just a thing where you're doing you're just doing a lot of physical stuff, whether it be working, working out, long days, long hours, whatever. Not always the best sleep. You feel it. And getting older. Jeepers. Just. Oh, you don't recover like you used to. Them horse legs don't fly over the top of the fence like they used to. Actually, no. They, I, I, they probably do better. Luckily, that's like. You tend to, you tend to, you know, retain muscular strength a little bit more as you get older, but a lot of like your, you have to keep working to maintain like range of motion and, uh, stamina and, you know, recovery type stuff. But strength usually, usually sticks around a little bit longer. Oh, I didn't even see you. I didn't even see you. There's Bandito. There's Bandito. He was in that. He was in that box all along. He's a very cute guy. But yeah, everything's finally melting. The temperature's finally going back up. And it means that like just kind of like the normal flow of things can start to resume. Of course, this is after uh after a lot of the like cleanup type stuff. Whenever we have these winter storms, it does kind of put a weird pause over a lot of things because there's certain things that you're just, you're not able to do at the same kind of frequency that you might otherwise. Um, you might not be able to lock up cats easily or you, like certain, certain enclosures, it's more difficult because you have to like dig out certain areas just to even like open doors and stuff like that. So um, there's like a little bit of a, a slowdown to like some of your normal kind of cleaning type stuff. I say slow down, I don't say a cessation. Ooh. And then like feeding has to like be done differently, especially not necessarily during the time. Okay, it's it's weird. When like winter stuff happens and the snow and the ice comes in while it's in the middle of it being super cold, you can drive tractor around and stuff like that real just whatever it's fine the ground is frozen but in the days afterwards when everything's melting and the ground is really soft just from it being kind of frozen and like because you, you know water expands and contracts and stuff like that during the freezing and refreezing so then it causes the dirt to kind of expand and contract as it goes through those same kind of motions. So if you try to drive vehicles around here, you're just gonna make big old ruts. That's no good. That don't look pretty. That don't make Heidi happy. <laughs> it doesn't make anyone. It's just like, you know, you don't wanna do that. You don't wanna tear up the, the grounds. Ren. Renny Penny, Melissa says hi. Renny Penny. Rennie might be a little, she's either upset that she's got some food and I'm a little bit too close to her right now, or she's upset that this is actually going to be her birthday week. And Rennie Penny is going to be turning Rennie Tenny. Rennie Tenny. Getting older, baby girl. Double digits. Double digits. It happens to us all. It happens to us all. Okay, the shadow.
Doing the ice. Neat, huh? And of course, the two girls who have grown to very much so like their special care unit, uh, Naya Shanti. And it's so funny because, you know, you make the, like, Heidi and everyone, we made them. Real, a big part of it is like, you know, so, so like Selena could have like a comfortable spot. And then when it got really, really cold, Selena was actually just like in her box, in her normal box. She had access to inside. She could go to the inside where it was nice and heated through the magic of electricity. And she's like, no, 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 I prefer my old school box. My old box. And then Noe, lion, a lot of times lions are a little bit kind of, you know, particular about, uh, about that type of weather, cold type stuff. Noe was in her box, in her lockdown. And then the two crazy girls, the two wild ones, the two young, spry, healthy Girls, they were like, ooh, 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 like, ooh, this is nice. Ooh. Hay and heaters. Mm. Pretty girl. There's a pretty girl. No, oh, the anyway, original words. I was saying something because uh, the uh, the spiky thing at the end of a Stegosaurus tail. Is, uh, is known as a thagomizer because there was a, a comic, The Far Side, back in the 80s, Gary Larson. He had uh, made a comic with a bunch of cavemen sitting around having like a PowerPoint presentation. Well, not a PowerPoint, but basically like some sort of like, you know, an overhead projector kind of thing. And then it's like, hey, we gotta be on the lookout, you know, be like, be careful, watch out for this part of the Stegosaurus tail, which is known after, called the Thagomizer, um, in memory of the late, you know, the, the late great, like, Thag Johnson or something, like, so it was just saying, like, yeah, that's a, that part is a Thagomizer. And then scientists, actual scientists, said, uh, like, you know what, we never took the time to actually name that part of the state, like, so actual paleontologists, we never took the time to actually name that part of the Stegosaurus, so we're just going to call it the Thagomizer, because that's an, it's a funny comic. <laughs> and then, and then we got the Floppomizer over here. We got the, we got the, the Floppomizer, the Cutomizer, the Mushomizer, the Smoochomizer. For Noe, pretty girl, look at you, good girl. There's a good girl. Oh, did I do the thing? Hello, all you big cat lovers out there. It's me, Derek, again. Welcome to another super duper fantastic episode of the Walk on the Compound webcast. Yeah, sorry about that. I only say that because I'm getting ready to actually sign off. <laughs> look, at, look at her chin. Wait, what are you doing with your, you're doing something, she's just like kind of putting her leg up, putting her leg down and stretching it and doing all that fun stuff. Hi baby. Hi baby. All right. 
Thank you for watching this episode of the Walk Around the Compound webcast. Hashtag Dorbus Award in the comment section below. Like and subscribe for all of your big cat goodness. And if you want to learn more about the facility around me, you can always visit the website carerescuetexas.com for more information. You keep them tigers fed. Big shout out to the extra fancy patrons. I see you. You are so fancy. And thank you so much for your support. We'll see you next time. All right. Bye-bye. like and subscribe for more big cat content